Ah! Stop that computer! Ah, for some reason with this hopage, um, when, uh, it, it's like when we ever, whenever we start a new recording or we're switching options around, it likes to play the music even though I have it set to mute! It doesn't make any sense! Anyways, I am trying to get Sheer to steal something. A hidden item that is both really awesome and really lame at the same time. It's Mr. Cross-Eyed. <laughs> uh, whenever Sheer steals something, you'll know it because the text will say, What? Sheer is missing! Uh, or where did Sheer go, actually? Uh... This can take a while. Speed it up? Yeah. Speed it up, unless it doesn't take that long. What? Shear is gone! Okay, down the speed up. Sorry about that. That Sometimes it happens like the first time you go there, other times it, it's, it's just random. Shear can steal items from shops. She can get various uh, weapons, armor, things that they don't normally sell. Anyways, what Sheer has stolen for us is the Visiphone, which I'm going to give to Rolf. Because Rolf's always in our party. With the Visiphone, we can... Make in contact with data memory. Save anywhere! Whoa! Whoa! In fact, I think I'll save right now. Just to save the fact that we have the damn thing. Dude! Do the other fantasy stars let you save anywhere? One had that option just normal. <laughs> and that is why this is also the lamest item in the game. You don't make that a hidden thing in a game just to save anywhere. That, that, that's something that the game should just have. Or yeah. not have. Mm-hmm. Reorganize. Yes, we gotta get organized. Anyways, for the next dungeon, I'm going to take Hugh and Amy with us. <laughs> oh, I gotta I gotta upgrade their armor. That'll be that's just a matter of telewarping porting to uh Actually, let me toss some of these trimates. So that I can... Oh, Dimate! Yeah, toss that! <laughs> what are you doing here, Dimate? Die! Mate. <laughs> that sounds like something in Aust a like... badass Austrian would say. Looks like it's time for you to die, mate! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, gonna kill you with my boomerang and my didgeridoo and my punching kangaroo. Didgeridoo punching kangaroo. Uh, no, he can't use that. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. I, I, I know what I need to buy. Okay, so symmetric, uh, ceramic, ceramic cape. It's a cape made out of ceramic. You call that a slicer? This is a slicer. <laughs> Ceramic chest. Uh, silk. Wait, yo, 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 MC Cream's in the house. MC Cream's in the house. How you doing, Ogo? <laughs> oh, uh, that's funny. Everybody say, ho! Oh! <laughs> what is this parappa? <laughs> Uh, I want to play that game so much. <laughs> yes, at the time of this recording, he hasn't finished it yet, but he will have already by the time you watch this. We're not allowed to talk about Fantasy Star, right, and Parappa and stuff like that, but we can We're... talk about Parappa and Fantasy Star. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about what we've already done. We just can't talk about, but I don't want to buy, damn it. I love how this game is a big fan of Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater A239. And that guy looks like he's got a yin, yin yang on his chest. Like a yin yang necklace. 
ding 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 ding. I thought that was a fire hydrant. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> uh, a fire hydrant. It's a character. Okay, now uh, can she use the soul crown? Mm, welcome to my my. Oh, what was that? An armor. armor shop. Welcome to my armor shop. Mm, my luxurious blonde hair. <laughs> I'll have you in the most stylish armor. <laughs> like he, the way he looks, he, uh, his his hair isn't long like um, like sharpeners. But he just makes me think of sharpener whenever I see him. Who's sharpener? From Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Like, mm, I don't have time to play superhero. I'm too busy working out my arms. Okay. If you guys have not watched the Funimation dub. Of Gohan goes to high school. You need to watch that right now, cause that, that is all right. All right, hilarious. this is what I was trying to show off earlier. Oh, the hidden thingy. Yeah, we need to come here at another point in the game. People used to dream of traveling outside all go, but now it just can't be done because one accident in a thousand ten in a thousand years makes it too. Heard that there are all kinds of arms in the dam. Uh, let's see. I heard nobody survived the accident of ten years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, actually, our main character did. Yeah, you know, that, that's kind actually, of um, yeah, Mike, because you can't travel around into space after one accident. I mean, after the Hindenburg, we didn't go on, like, blimps anymore. After the Titanic, we didn't go on ships anymore. I know, and we, we don't have planes anymore after 9-11. Is that too soon? <laughs> Ike... I don't know when it's too soon for Nihil. <laughs> well, if you were offended, I'm sorry! <laughs> and that should fix everything. Kyori. Kyori, uh, Kyori. So, those are like. Oh, sorry, I gotta go on. Ugh. So, those are like owl people? Yeah. I want to see one up close. Well, I already saw, technically saw one up close, but it looked like a rodent person. Oh, Wolfang. I... Sniffy, sniffy. It's like, I can smell you! Sniffy, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're spiking the audience. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, I was just smelling the microphone. Because that guy, that dog, that wolf was sniffing like crazy. He's got a sniffing problem. There's a. There are I, I, I'm gonna be interested to hear what that sounds like. <laughs> okay, our boat should be. There it is. By the way, when you use the teleport service, your uh, jet scooter actually relocates itself. Here we go across the ocean. Why are we now on some virtual grid? <laughs> I, I hate the fact that all battle backgrounds look like this. Oh, in the remake, you can actually have. They actually have the option... Oh, Amy just used her silent shot. It's the Paralyzer from Metroid. Another Paralyzer! But it only works on five monsters. But anyways, yeah. I... In the remake, you can change it so that the background actually reflects where you are and has different backgrounds, but they give you the option just to have this if you, if you want to. And I'm like... Why? This is lame! Something graphically that Fantasy Star did better than Fantasy Star 2? Yes. I, by the way, I found this dungeon by accident Whoa! the first time I was here. I need the map. It's got a wicked cool... Right, map. Uh, uh, what's, what's it called? You, you already had it up. You, Mark, you already... Uh, there... You had the window up as it was. Like, I don't know. You just left, and we're going to a town. So I thought you needed a different map. Oh, <laughs> you never, you never, you have never come here before, have you? <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I told you I needed Uzo Island. Ah, uh, this is a, actually a really good grinding place. Okay. Ah, uh, that map is so zoomed out; it's hard for me to read it. <laughs> well, if I zoom it in, is that any better? Yeah. Okay. No, wait, that's the wrong way. 
Okay. Well, at least I realized that, like, before wandering way off. This place reminds me of Death Mountain, but... Thankfully, the caves just instantly lead you to the opening of another cave, and you don't have to travel Wolf through the... Ang. Wait, wait, no, no. It's Wolf Ang. I'm the last of the airbenders. Oh! <laughs> well, that wolf looks awfully fiery. But then again, he is the Avatar. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He can fire bend. After, uh... Bird, Bird wolf. wolf! Whoa, I like that expression. <laughs> he, he totally freaks out. like, <laughs> That's because it's Nicolas Cage's wolf, baby. I don't know how I ended up being wolf in here, but... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You're saying I play a wolf in this game? <laughs> <laughs> you should see what I do in a bear suit. <laughs> Alright, okay, we need to get into a battle. We need to get into a battle right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now! Uh, should I? No, I should ignore those stairs. Okay. I found this dungeon by accident one time. I think I first found it when I was playing the game at, um, um, I think it was an Outback State House, actually. It's like, wait, 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 I'm waiting And for I was it. like, I was yeah. like, I made progress! <laughs> Stop missing, well, actually, keep missing, oh, wait, oh, we got a first turn. That's what happened. Okay, <sighs> I gotta wait, wait for him to die. Shoot him again! <laughs> what for? Cause his soul is still dancing. <laughs> Nicholas Cage approves of the strategy guides. Actually, not really. Nicholas Cage playing a guy impersonating Nicholas Cage <laughs> approves of the strategy <laughs> guides. <laughs> Head rot. I want to take his head and rot it. <laughs> yeah, they attack with their brains. It's like something Deadpool says in a <laughs> in the Deadpool game. Your brains are running away from you. Gross. <laughs> I really like the foreground effect. You know, the, the mist. The mist effect. Yes. The mists of time and mountains and shit. Holy what the? Blockhead. Blockhead? Block yes. It's like... It's oh, by the way, Mark, remember? Do you remember? Uh, according to Michael Swain, the reason Blockhead looks the way he does in the animations is because that's how Blockhead sees himself. So he could actually look exactly like yes. one of those things. <laughs> like... First we have to go and find the Weevil! The, the we- the what? <laughs> oh, I love Ow. Blockhead. One of the best Newgrounds animations ever! Blockhead is paralyzed. <laughs> Sad Jen! Assists. Genesis? Genesis. You dropped it. You dropped it and you should pick it up. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a precedent. What's a precedent? Hello, Hello Mr. President. president. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? Why are you true? <laughs> uh, noodle good. Uh, wait. Um, uh, mud hair? Mud hair? Turtle, turtle eyes? eyes? What are you, what are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? What? Uh, why are you true? <laughs> oh, we're spiking. We're spiking out the audio with some blockhead. <laughs> yes. Oh, I hope Catman shows up. Catman. Yes. Oh, if if I get to the end of this dungeon and Catman does not appear, we are going to like speed up or cut or something until I find a random encounter with Catman. Oh, oh you're in a dungeon, so man, this is gonna be a long ass episode. Yeah. Fuck. Oh well. 
Okay, I need to go this way. Well, at least you're not lost. That's good. Yes, but I still want Catman to show up. I have no idea where you are right now. So I'm glad you know. Oh man, Catman still hasn't appeared and I'm like at the end of the dungeon. Damn it. Where's my random encounters? Well, well why don't you just get to the end of the dungeon and then... I'm we'll here. Just... Okay. Um... This is it. This is the Mara Yura tree. Rolf has got mar marijuana leaf. <laughs> Okay, oh, well, you're done in the dungeon, right? So yeah. why don't we just you know walk what? around? I'll I'll actually walk out of the dungeon, and if I find Catman while I'm on my way out, we'll. So why don't we just speed up to the end of the dungeon, or until you find it? Yeah, because we've got nothing to say at this point. You've already beat the dungeon. Yep. Speed up. Because if we don't find him in this dungeon, we'll never see him. Please, please, please. Yes. Okay, stop the speed up. What the heck? <laughs> they look more like girls. I mean, that kind of looks like boobs. That does not look like a man. <laughs> that looks like a cat lady. Yes. It's a furry. This is the one of the funniest enemies I've ever seen. <laughs> there's there's ones in Fantasy Star 3 actually called Cat it's like, Woman. That would be funny if it's like, if Nay and all the other girls are like, Okay, let's get him. And the guy's like, you know what? Uh, why, why don't we just, you know, maybe we can befriend them, and, uh... <laughs> have lots of furry sex. <laughs> maybe we can, you know, pay them for certain favors. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, one other Whoa, thing... Whoa, I like that animation. <laughs> one, one thing I want to say, though, mm -hmm. that tree we found, there's like, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four... Five, Five, six, seven. There's seven of those trees. Only one is the correct one. Uh. It's almost like the fake master sword, except it's more of a dick, because... Okay, are we ready to end the episode? Yeah. Okay. We'll see you next time for more Fantasy Star! Yay! Oh, actually... What? Um, before we end the episode, there is one more thing I just want to do real quick. Okay, but how dare you? How dare you, sir? <laughs> Make me lie to these fine people. <laughs> well, it, 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 it's almost the end of the episode. Okay, these guys are going to be dead. So dead, so quickly. Okay, well, just bring it go, just bring it go, just bring it go! Okay, I, I need to get to the town. I need, I, I need to talk to a person in the town. I know exactly where I'm going. Good. You're in my way, sir. Okay, just be very careful, because if I walk one more step, I'll go... Remember the guy that told us about the tree in the first place who wanted the leaf for gum? Yeah. I'm working on inventing a new kind of gum. That's it! A marijuana leaf! I'm gonna make pot gum! <laughs> Please give it to me! Yes, thank you. Wait, I'll make the gun dumb. done. There's plenty. T go take some. There you go. Farewell. <laughs> we got mar We got pot gum! We can get high now! Yay. We're gum! And breathe underwater for some reason. We've got medicinal marijuana gum. Alright, see you next episode. And in the next episode... They will be level 50. Yay! Bye.